my brothers and sisters. And the reed like a measuring rod was given to me. And the messenger stood saying, rise and measure the dwelling place of Allahim and the slaughter place and those worshiping in it. But cast out the court, which is outside the dwelling place and do not measure it for it has been given to the nations and they shall trample the set apart city underfoot for 42 months. And I shall give unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy 1,260 days clad in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that are standing before the Allahim of the earth. And if anyone wishes to harm them, fire comes out from their mouth and consumes their enemies. And if anyone wishes to harm them, he has to be killed in that way. These possess authority to shut the heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they possess authority over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they wish. And when they have ended their witness, the beasts coming up out of the pit of the deep shall fight against them and overcome them and kill them and their dead bodies lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sedom and Mitzrayim, where also our master was impaled, and some of the peoples and tribes and tongues and nations see their dead bodies for three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be placed into tombs. And those dwelling on the earth rejoice over them and exult. And they shall send gifts to each other because these two prophets tortured those dwelling on the earth. And after the three and a half days, a spirit of life from Allahim entered into them and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice from the heaven saying to them, come up here. And they went up into the heaven in a cloud and their enemies saw them. And in that hour, there came to be a great earthquake and a tenth of the city fell. And in the earthquake, 7,000 men were killed and the rest became afraid and gave a sting to the Allahim of the heaven. The second woe is past and see, the third woe is coming speedily. And the seventh messenger sounded and there came to be loud voices in the heaven saying, the reign of this world has become the reign of our master and of his Messiah, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders sitting before Allahim on their thrones fell on their faces and worshiped Allahim saying, we give you thanks, O Yahuwah al Shaddai, the one who is and who was and who is coming because you have taken your great power and reigned. And the nations were enraged and your wrath has come and the time of the dead to be judged and to give the reward to your servants, the prophets and to the set apart ones and to those who fear your name, small and great, and to destroy those who destroy the earth. And the dwelling place of Allahim was opened in the heaven. And the ark of his covenant was seen in his dwelling place. And there came to be lightnings and voices and thunders 
and an earthquake and great hail. Shalom.